Hey, welcome to the Trucking with John D channel. I'm John, of course. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the most important thing that you can take along with you or pack when you're about to go out on the road. Whether that's your car, you're about to drive your car or you're about to drive a big truck. And that one thing that you should pack that is the most important thing is patience. Because everybody else out there, at least the majority of the four wheelers, and I would say at least half the 18 wheelers uh, impatient, arrogant, uh, selfish. So we as professionals have to be better than them. You know, we as professionals have to understand what's at stake when we get behind the wheel of a car or a truck, and we must understand that uh, our impatience is where is when we, when we start getting impatient and we start to rush is when the is when accidents happen. It's when we start making dumb little mistakes. It's when we are uh, in a rush. Is when we uh, lose, basically lose control, lose our discipline, lose our focus. Because staying focused, understanding our, our surroundings, you know, understanding what's in front of us, to the left and right of us, and behind us, and then anticipating what can possibly happen is what is what separates the amateurs from the professionals. You know, your four wheel, your average four wheeler driver is driving in a way that's reactive. They are reactive. They are reacting to situations. They are reacting to changing certain circumstances. But us as professionals, we drive proactively, where we anticipate changing certain circumstances. Circumstances, you know, that's and that's what professionals do. We say we look down the road and we see a potential. We, we look around us, really, 360 degrees. 360 degrees we are focused on or understand that what what the potential risks are you know we might be clear on the left we got a meet you got a <laughs> we got a pull off on the right car in front of us car behind us but we understand at any time a car can get can pop out to the left of us at any time a car in front of us can slow down for unknown reasons and at any time, if somebody's on the side of the road, they can just pull out on the highway, highway for any reason. So your average four-wheeler isn't thinking about any, any of those things. All they are thinking about is basically their steering wheel. They don't, really don't, they don't look no further ahead than their hood. While we are looking at the situation, having situational awareness, and then uh, <laughs> basically running over the things, running through the things that could possibly happen that way we are prepared for when that thing does happen you know we drive in a way that we don't put ourselves in a situation that will get get us leave us trapped at least the professionals do we don't put ourselves in a situation where we have to rush to get out of our uh, out of a box or we have to rush to hit the brakes so we have to uh basically rush to get out of a situation that if we were planning ahead we could have could have avoided you know just like a rear end collision Sure, there are circumstances where <clears throat> someone hopped in front of you, hit their brakes, and there was nothing you could do. But 90% of the time, rear-end rear collisions can be avoided by just being uh, aware and, and paying attention paying, and being aware of the situation. So this goes back to my main point. When you leave the house or wherever you're about to get behind the wheel, you're done with your 10-hour break, and you're about to get behind the wheel, or if you're at home on your home time, and you're about to get in your car and go somewhere or if you're a local driver and you're driving to work from work and then while you're at work you're driving the most important thing you can pack is patience and that will save not only your life your 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 life from other op other hard times other things that other obstacles other situations that will make your life inconvenient and give makes it make things a headache if you get into some kind of accident or whatever it is and it also saves other people's other people's lives in time and you know and, and saving lives is the most important thing we do out there you know a lot of people don't get that that every day every mile we drive we are saving people's lives we are driving in a way that keeps other people from killing themselves so because they don't know what they're doing so we have to drive in a way that keeps them from hurting themselves and or killing themselves so that's all i gotta say in this video before you leave the house pack plenty of plenty of plenty of patience before you get out the get behind the wheel and start driving make sure you understand 
you know, I, I'm gonna be focused and patient, or at least more patient than usual, because you know, as drivers, we waiting around or the, you know waiting around for things and then driving hundreds of miles a day and all those things requires a lot of patience so the last thing you want to do is rush you know to do things that otherwise will cause a problem so that's it for this video you got some value out of it like it and share it check out the link in the description box it'll point you to something interesting that's all i can say but otherwise i'll talk to you again soon